is the greatest and it's Christ in me. Give me life and we, us, yes. Need a dose of something that will show us. Unity in Day number two. Day number two, Youth on a Mission. Super excited to have you all back. Do me a favor and just type, well, good afternoon in the comment. Let us know you were here. Go over a little bit of the schedule today. So if you can see this, you uh, an idea, you have your general session, keynote, which is right now. And then in the afternoon, you're going to have two workshop sessions that are going to be in a different way. Talking about call to relationship with Jesus focuses on this theme. And I hope you remember this whenever you go anywhere, when you go out in the world or when you're dealing with challenges in life, you know, we are children of God. And one thing I always tell my young people, my high school kids back home in New Orleans is this, remember who you are and remember whose you are. Remember who you are and remember whose you are. People get courage when you allow yourself to let your light shine. When you let your light shine, your unique light, because you belong in this world, whether you think so or not, when you let your light shine, you inspire others to do the same. And that's what's needed in this world. And that's what God wants, is for us to know him and know who we are as children of him so that we can inspire God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, Yom 2020 online. Welcome to our day two evening session. Y'all do me a favor, Ooh. drop in the comment and amen, A-M-E-N. Do me a Go ahead and find either a statue of Mary or a statue of your favorite. Statues up to the screen all at the same time. Hold them up so we can see what you have. Scroll through here, look at all these beautiful statues. Check in with everyone and then prepare you for the rest of the evening. If you look at the screen here, we have again, we just had our scavenger hunt, so you're gonna do a, so as you're reflecting on the, the words of the music and on the beautiful reflections by Father Genuine read by our ministry team. Um, again, just taking this time to, to unwind and, and be open and allow the encounter. From those born of women, there has risen no one greater than John the Baptist. Jesus told his disciples, I am with you always, and he is with us too. Do you notice him? We make many choices in life. We have to choose the best part and recognize more and more day by day the presence of God in our lives, the action of Jesus in our daily routine, and the power of the Holy Spirit within us. Mary shared generously what she had. Judas saw it as wasteful. Are there areas of our lives where we wish we were different? As we continue to reflect on our encounters with Christ and the differences that we've all experienced. Always remember that no matter what we may have done or what may have happened to us, God's love is a powerful means of healing. Uh, reflecting on that last, that last story of Judas and thinking about like, how many times have I failed Christ? <laughs> And yet, and betrayed him with my actions, with my words. And yet, he still forgives. He still loves. Listening to these encounters tonight was a reminder even for me. Away how far off you are. Jesus' arms are open. And like Ansel said this morning, being here is a blessing. Be in prayer with you all. It's not how we planned it, but it's how God planned it. <sighs> so for this last. Taking up the call to share your light with all the world. Let us live our lives so that all might see are restless till they rest in me let us build your kingdom in truth and grace so that all might know they have a rightful place 
chat, y'all. I just want to say thank you again to Jessica Fine and Father Genuine for putting together tonight's prayer service. Beautiful job, everyone. Beautiful job. So here's what's going to happen next as we are getting ready.